clicking buttons now or something like that. Yeah. Buttons are depressed. <laughs> sad, sad buttons. So very sad buttons. <clears throat> All righty, right on the set. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Coming to you live from Deltona, Florida. With two idiots misinterpreting the news so you don't have to. Lunch with Laz and Jack. everybody this is les and this is jack and i haven't opened up anything today welcome to another edition of lunch with les and jack where we interpret the shroud of the avatar news so you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and ours because they deserve to be questioned and if you're here for the giveaways, they are open. You can always Yay. do exclamation mark. I love free shit to enter in the streamer bundle on Laz's stream. If you want to enter the streamer bundle on my stream, it's pound the bootay. And if you want to get in on the streamer bundles, you need to exclamation mark bundle me on both streams. You, you like how I mixed that up unintentionally? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I had no idea what I was saying. <laughs> oh. because, because shroud logic. The shroud logic, man. Shroud, shroud logic is, is, is the logic that makes everybody question their sanity. Totally illogical. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Greetings, Paladin Michael. What's going yes, on? Greetings, and everybody greetings. else out there joining us today. And welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Thursday, November 14th, 2024, yes. here inside and outside Shroud of the Avatar. As we are two weeks away. Actually, yes. a little over two weeks because we're going to be doing our release on Friday this, this month again. Are they planning we're doing a, something, man? Uh, 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 upcoming and, and events. Let, let's upcoming events and uh, November twenty eighth, and thanks to Microsoft changing how they display the calendar, uh, the twenty eighth is a Thursday. 
It, so actually, on Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving is going to be released. I, I thought they on Thanksgiving. That, yeah. Thanksgiving is the fourth Thursday in the yeah. month. So this would be a Thanksgiving Day release. Yes. Okay. So Wait, they're actually which, going to. Yeah, you know, they're only doing it on Thursday on Thanksgiving because most of the time people are sitting around waiting for the meal to be ready. So they're going to sit around and kind <sighs> their computer anyway. Well, I mean, it's like if you, you sitting want to around do doing doing nothing to begin with, yeah, is. Uh... Which is going to be quite the change of pace for us, uh, because usually uh, it would be next week where we are expecting to see uh, that release, but uh, they've decided to not do the early week releases this month and next month, which, of course, uh, will be two days after Christmas on the 27th uh, in December. You, you no, that's the live stream. The release. Oh, sorry, the, the twenty sixth, the day after. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong, the wrong one there. My bad. So the day after, which is also the Thursday, and uh, that that then makes uh, the yeah. January release cycle sort of normalized. Normal, yeah, normal, compared to the usual six plus week. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Interval, which is usually the longest, dullest period in Shroud yeah. between uh, releases, which you know is going to be interesting because usually we have a, a tough time just because there's not much going on in six weeks that uh, you know it gets a little stale during that time. So it's going to be an interesting uh, season to see how this all works out, uh, to say the least. To say the least, but uh, you know, surprisingly enough, uh, you know, nice to see that they're just going to stick to a regular release schedule nonetheless. So, yeah, that's, but I mean, it, the the real question is, what's going to get patched, and what kind of progress has been made? on the things because we we've got like a dozen different projects that we're waiting on some sort of update on including things like the, uh, the crafting next, update. the next content release is until january apparently so yes yeah. no but but it, it would be nice if they would provide some update as far as hey where are we in this process of uh collecting they've already, all the recipes they've already, and, they've already said they're not going to be doing that that was that's we've already covered that they're not going to be doing that they're not going to dwell on it till such time as they're ready to act on it and then it, they will the, no, no no they, they <clears throat> ravelock said they they were going to provide updates on the progress yeah when when they're ready to act on it it's oh like, is so is this like the 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 new server for things um that they are going to um be deploying the brand new server and it, it's still sitting behind Ravelox? It's just like, uh, you know, this year we're going to be more open about open. all of our updates and we don't do that. We're going to make sure that we do QA patches twice a month, which we mm -hmm. don't do. Uh, we're going to do QA updates, which we don't do. Uh, we're going to have QA patch notes, which we don't do. Uh, yeah. we, we, we're going to have the uh, 2024 uh, vision statement after the next meeting. Me uh, yeah. yeah, that we're still waiting for, which, of course, you know, you, you all realize how facetious we're being with that one. Uh -huh. as, uh, as 2024 has come to a close just about already here, and... Uh, we ain't going to see... Uh, we're going to remove the <laughs> vault items. Yeah, we're going to remove the vault <laughs> items. It's like, uh... Yes. Bikes, uh, yeah, at least a year, if not more, is my understanding on that. So, um, whether it's but, a couple of years, you know... We'll, but yeah. wh why, why would it take a couple of years to analyze the data... 
Uh, oh wait, that's because they are manually copying and copying every single recipe in the game down because it uh, they don't know how to sort things. Yeah, again, uh, I don't have an answer for that. I just know who's doing what and you know <clears throat> what's being done, and it's all being put into a spreadsheet because you know. You know, shattered a spreadsheet is really popular here. Well, I mean, uh, th that's how they they initially uh, designed all the all the combat and everything else was everything done by spreadsheet. But yes. Oh man! But meanwhile, I want to take a uh, jump back here. Uh, oh. To uh, the beginning of the release, actually before the release, because there's some. Interesting stuff that we missed uh, when Spoon was doing some uh, troubleshooting with the dungeon pieces. And we didn't get to this topic, but uh, there's some interesting uh, content, as it may be, um, here. Well, well, now I've got to find the <clears throat> last thing I put in. So the last one. So... At the crossed hammer, cycling through the six hometown pieces will remove the crossed hammers. That's the one. So, uh, so this is a player-made dungeon piece. Um, uh, put all six pieces in the inventory. Go to the crossed hammer. Cycle through. Click cancel. Cancel. No more hammers. Trout logic. Have to exit and enter the dungeon to get back. No info at all in the slash debug window. Had it running before, during, and after. Nothing. Put away all the dungeon pieces except one at a time, starting with the two by one anti-chamber. Check that cross hammers are there. Place room. Cross is still there. Okay. Three by one anti-chamber. Place room. Cross is all still there. Okay. Four by six. Place, cr place room. Cross is still there. Next. Row two by one, place room, cross is still there. Village one story, place room, cross is still there. Okay. Next, the village two story, just trying to place the room, kills the crossed hammers and not even tried interacting. Well, I, that, that would be, even when going back to none, the crossed hammers, crossed hammers are gone now. Final test, exit and enter to get all the cross, crosses back. <clears throat> Put all five pieces except for the two, Two story in inventory. Cycle through and place each in turn. Cross is still there. Conclusion. The reports about the crosses going away are due to the village two story. If you just cycle through, it will kill the crossed hammers. Thank you, Spoon, for all of that due diligence related to isolating exactly where the bug and problem lie. <clears throat> because without that, I'm pretty sure it would have been years before it was addressed. And Ravelox did come back with great troubleshooting. Going to do another QA build tonight. I think I have this one sorted. Still having issues with the missing wall section. That inspires confidence. Um, the one is affected by the new one Scotty made for me. Yeah. Um, Spoon double tested this. I have no issues with it. I can place, remove, and place the antechamber two by one. I think it is only that Morkin cycled through, which killed the cross hammers. Maybe you can copy from the three by one and paste it into two by one since they have the same walls. Let's go to a different problem with the wall giving us issues is the bottom right one in the image above. The two bottom ones are the new custom pieces Scotty made to split the standard 8 meter wall. We use in the dungeon kits into two 4 meter pieces. I needed these specifically so I'm not forced to place connection points in the wall. Can you tell a difference between the two walls? <clears throat> it doesn't look For like the, as much of a difference. I mean, I'm not seeing a difference between these two. So, 
why can't you just copy and paste that one wall piece? Because they look identical to me. Understandable, but you know, shroud oh, logic. Oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Open image and new tab. Zoom. 30,000%. So, Laz, can you open it up and zoom as much as you can into it? Uh, how would I do that? Open the a new tab. There it is. Uh, I'm at four or five hundred percent. Yeah, hard to do. Okay. Well, th then scroll down a little bit. Here, I'll, 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 I'll snip. The yeah, I'm looking at it for so that way you can actually what the difference is, except for those little dashes on either side. Why, why are those other dashes on the other side? Yeah, why, what, why are those dashes on the side of Two both on of them? one, three on the other? Yeah, why. Don't know. That that makes no sense, right? Shroud logic. Sh shroud shroud logic. It's like, why do you have? If if the asset's just supposed to be the wall, what are those those hanging chads out out on the side, right? Um. Uh, so uh, let's see. I need these specifically so I'm not forced to place connection points in corners of rooms that are two by two or have non standard configurations. I want the connection to be centered on the wall, and the only way to do that is to have smaller wet wall sections. When Portalarium created the internal dungeon kit, it was intended for adventure scenes, and the grid is eight meters by eight meters. This doesn't allow for a lot of creativity in a smaller space. The player dungeon rooms don't follow all the same rules as the 8 meter grid, including height. The adventure scene kit is based on a 15 meter dungeon level height. It's like 48 <laughs> feet. 15 meter height? Got to be able to get that pet dragon in there. It's like 48 feet high. Whereas the player the dungeon dragon. is based on a 10 meter height between levels. Or floors. I mean, uh, it's like, I know this is a bit more into the mud, but I think it's good to know how much refactoring needs to be done to allow us to expand the player dungeon sets. I need to invest in new components and parts that align with the player dungeon uh, grid standard. Shroud math. Shroud logic is head desk, head wall, head all over the top place. Uh, below is the three by one uh, using, th using three eight meter wall sections since nothing can be hung, hang out into the void without causing clipping. Or preventing placing without long hallways everywhere. I can't, won't use eight meter walls and let them hang in, out in space. Once we figure the new, fix the new right wall, the one, left one is working fine. Then we will have 100 times the flexibility in making new floor plans going forward. I'm even hoping to reduce the footprint of certain rooms like the Fishing Grotto by creating new meshes that don't extend so far into the void. I plan to stream work much more. I love building dungeons. Yes, so we we fi we find out some insight here as to why. Some things are as messed up as they are. And, you know, we got to go back to the fact that, you know, 
Uh, I mean, th- there's what, shit what? outside that's being rendered all well, over the place. Not, that... not, e- not even that, but, you know, when they... You know, why, okay, is instead of sticking with the original factoring that was created by Portalarium and the kit, why, why are we changing that factoring into a smaller form factor when you already have the existing form factor to begin with, I understand that, uh, you, know, <clears throat> you know, there's things that need to be fixed, or you just scrap the whole thing and you start from scratch. That's that's one of two options right there. Or three, we, we, we go ahead and we take the Unity Store and we use the Unity Store as it was intended. And we get dungeon pieces that are prefab, pre-assembled, pre-ready to work, and just drop them in and start using them like that. But we know from way back in the day that uh, the whole world was refactored to a size that does not fit with your standard Unity plugins. So that even when they get plugins from the Unity store, they've got to sit there and dick with them because... Whoever's infinite wisdom uh, decided to uh, refactor it in the first place and screwed up the whole point of being able to just take the Unity plugins and snap them in and run with them. Yeah. You know? Ooh, Jack, ooh. As followed. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. I, uh, Welcome drop, to drop the logic, insanity. Man. Yeah. But uh, the other thing that uh, I, I'm curious about is where he says uh, that uh, he's not forced to place connection points in corners of rooms um, that are two by two or have non standard configurations, uh, like the town cellar room with the arches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I, th- that would necessitate smaller pieces. Well, um, you know, the in order to put the concept the of the all room. these dungeon rooms from the beginning has been, you know, that the connector is, you know, smack in the middle of a connector, um, you know, in the middle of a room on either either four sides, right? So either you had a one entrance, a two entrance, a three entrance, or a four entrance. And each one was like a cross parallel to the other. Well, so it, so, so it, th- this would allow them to do smaller dungeons. I understand, yeah, but uh, so so the dungeon itself would take a smaller footprint because it's more compact. But no matter what, what's the size of the scene that the dungeon piece is in, Lass? Uh, technically one kilometer by one kilometer. If, Correct. if, if they stick to that with dungeon scenes. Now we really don't hey, know yeah. about dungeon scenes because dungeon scenes were built into the void. And well, uh, did, rem- remember when they, they introduced, uh, castle Atos and they actually said it was one of the largest scenes in the game. Two kilometer by it, two kilometer. Is it actually two kilometer by two kilometer? No way to find out because uh, they're it's, not it's even n- using it. Yeah, it's it's not because the playable area is a lot less than a kilometer well, by a kilometer. Again, it, it doesn't even use you know a portion it, it, of what is laid out it, there. Well, if you, I mean that that's just ends up being a. Uh, Fuck! What's what's the background called? Um, curtains. The curtain. That's all it is. Yeah. I mean, it's like, why why are now, you doing all kinds of I'm, shit outside? I'm the curious. Curtain? Uh, come on over here. Do you have what permission do you have on my lot here? Uh, I have kindred or something like that. I, I need to because we've dicked around with uh, permissions so much. Yeah, I got I got to look here so that we can get you to fly. Oh, uh, uh, I am co owner of Laza's lot soon. Uh, you're a trustee, so you should be able to fly down there. I don't, 
I don't I don't think I just bump me up to a co-owner and we'll forget to uh change it back. <laughs> yeah. Jotengrund is is m- might be the 2 kilometer by 2 kilometer scene. Right, and it, so. it's just filled of empty space. Let's head on down here just to see something. Okay. Da, 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 da. Let's see if it will let me. Did, did you promote me to co-owner? I did, yes. Okay. Let, let's see if I can slash slew. Oh, I use slash fly, but yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, one, one less... Uh... Fly! Fly's not working? Nope. What the? Well, you're in adventure mode. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's got to be in deco mode. Yeah. No! Uh huh. I'm in adventure mode. I thought I was in deco mode. Crowd math. <laughs> Oopsie. Crowd logic. Da 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 da. Let us uh, change this. Uh, transfer. Disable adventure mode. Here we go. Now we should be in deco mode. Okay, let's go back in. Enter dungeon. It doesn't give me the modes. Whenever I chose choose to go into it. No, there's a gear there that you have to uh, hit. Like new gear. There we go. Uh, if we fly oh. up and out. Uh, no, no. Nope. I don't get to do shit. You don't fly as a co-owner? Nope. Let's see. I can fly so far out that my dungeon just disappears. Yes. So, I mean, yeah. How how big is this room, actually? We really can't tell because... It's yeah. like this. Yeah. Once, once the dungeon actually disappears from view, I don't know if I'm still moving or not. There's no way to really tell whether... You yeah. have, uh, as I move forward again here now. Yeah. See, I, I don't have any options other than enter dungeon. Why am I not moving? Oh. Okay, I have to do that. Do I cannot fly with you? You should be able to. I don't know why. I, I, I'm telling you, I cannot. I understand that. But I wish there was a way to, you know, light the path at least, or at least see. Yeah, you know, because there's no real way, like I said, as I move out of here, you know, to figure how far back I go or how far across I go. Because once I'm out of range, you know, the... the dungeon itself just disappears completely which uh you know i mean i'm pretty far off when this thing you know comes out of range which means there's plenty of room still to uh work with yeah so is a dungeon dungeon uh stuck on the you know uh one kilometer by one kilometer uh, is that squared in height as well as length and width? We don't know. Uh, other things uh, as well as, uh, you know, dungeon size. Of course, we know that you're limited in your dungeon to what you can and can't do uh, due to the dungeon's uh, allowable uh, points value. So why can't you fly? That doesn't make sense. Why can't what? Why can't you fly? I don't know. Maybe the dungeon has a separate permission? Uh, 
I don't know. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? 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 Oh, wait. Now I see connection pieces. Yeah. Now I see. So slash fly? No? no? No slash fly did not do anything. Manage lot access. Uh... Slash fly does nothing. Slash slew. You co-owner, you got the highest possible permission, which should allow you to place <laughs> stuff. Should yeah, allow but... you to fly. Should allow you to. I I, I am literally typing in sl slash fly. That I I did it in local chat just to. Uh, uh, I mean, did they did they spell fly differently? F L Y. I mean, it's like a, this is shroud that we're talking about. Yeah, that's odd. That is, well, well, the weird thing is, like, I had to exit and enter the dungeon like a dozen times before the uh the crosses the, came. The hammers, yeah the the hammers hammer crosses showed up. Just really weird. Wow, oh, that is odd. And. I mean, do I need to enable an option in the, you in, in the configuration somewhere? Well, let's go check out a town real quick. So let's go out to Nug Harbor well, after like, we uh, give do this giveaway. So, so how would I exit the? Oh wait, there there's the running out. What it? This is shroud mast. Yeah. So All right. we, you're gonna, we're going to go to Snug Harbor and you're going to make me a uh... co-owner, uh, whatever <laughs> they call that. Uh, steward. Steward. But first things first, we're going to close out this giveaway. Oh. And Paladin Michael. Are you sure? You are the winner of the first streamer bundle giveaway. Congratulations. Night Rider on my side is the wiener let, let me let me mail out that to night rider michael berg there you go night rider now i'm going to snug arbor Guess I'm going to the town crier. All right. Let's just see. Maybe something else broke that we're not aware of that may need to be reported. And again, maybe changing scenes and coming back may do something for you down in the dungeon. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so I got to go to my mailbox here. Oh, you you haven't done the mail yet? No, no. It was, uh, oh, no, it's not a mailbox. I got to go to a uh, lot marker. Oh, to make... Yes, the, the lot marker... You have to have a lot marker in order to adjust the town permissions. Shroud logic. Uh, property manager. <laughs> no, wrong, wrong one. Wrong one. Manage town access. Uh, let's see. Is Cynicist even listed in this town? You should be someplace. Nope. I'm not. You are not. You're right. Yeah, 
Action assist. Let's see. Okay, Jackson assists now has to get raised permissions. And Jackson assists is now a steward. Okay, so. And you do a slash fly now and fly. Now I can fly. Okay. So that works here. So if you can do that here, uh, let me just see something. Let me add you to this lot. Just out of curiosity. And I want to make you a co-owner on this lot. And then we are going to go down into this dungeon and see... How do I get out of the slash fly? Uh, hit escape. Escape, yeah. And let me, just, let, me, let me make sure I'm in deco mode. Uh, enable adventure mode. So yes, we're in deco mode. So now this one, I believe, is a mine cart, which may give me. You know, this isn't the mine cart. Okay, fly. You see me flying, Laz? <laughs> I couldn't couldn't see it even if I wanted to. I, I'm aware, but a co-owner can't fly. That's weird. You, you, you like that? Co-owners can't fly. Because shroud math. Okay, shroud so. Logic. Uh. You, do you see the crosses here? Yes, I do. Okay, so you have access to that, but you can't slew or fly, which is uh, really odd. Yeah. Here, here, here. See, you saw, saw me type in fly and locally. Yeah, slash fly. Backslash fly. I'm aware. Yeah, okay. I, I... Right. Backslash fly is no, not the, the right the, word. The, the forward other slash, one. Forward fly. slash, whatever. And, and trust me, I, I've been typing it. I could go through my up arrows yeah. and show you my chat log of all the flying that I have attempted <laughs> to do. Yeah, I always thought that Hello was there. a. Hello there, Jack. What's a lot of hops? Oh, you're just talking about oh, Jack yeah. hopping around. Maybe, maybe. It, that's what happens when you you used to play Counter Strike for a fucking long yeah, time, and, and you, you just you, you, you jump you're always constantly you jump jumping, and yeah, yes, so, so you don't get hit. <laughs> Doesn't but, really matter. Yeah, Going faster. As uh, yeah, see, so you can see the crosses, but you can't fly. That's really weird. Yeah, that's really weird. Jack can't change the state of the dungeon, adventure mode, or PvP, but... So... Oh, you're right! Like, I can't double-click on these uh, these crosses. I can't do anything with them. Well, as a co-owner, he's supposed to be able to. Well, that's Shroud Math. I, yeah. Co-owner co is the... supposed to allow him to do everything an owner does. Hey, that's, that's, that's Shroud Math... Crowd logic. Well, well, first off, when you try and click on it, what happens? Nothing. You don't get a window that comes up no. at all. Not, 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 not. No green, no nothing. So, you, let, let's see if I can take the screenshot. Oh damn it! It dropped my mouse. So yeah, Twitch.tv slash the Avatar. Yeah, that's where you would find the R31 video. Yes. M maybe even on uh, YouTube if they ever updated it. Yeah, that's if they updated YouTube. So, so the only... So, hold on. Uh, let, let's go to my... So I can deco. That's it. Ah. Uh. So I can deco the room, but I cannot change anything.
crowd logic. But but a co-owner can place a lot marker, right? A steward in a town can place a marker. Well, that's, I mean, that's what you are. You're a steward here. That's what I'm saying. No, you, you... no, no. Well, this, this is the dungeon inside of... I a, understand that, but you're a... a town dungeon. You're, you're a steward. I'm a co-owner. Yeah, but you're a steward in the town, and you're a yeah, co-owner on the lot, which, you know, yeah. should allow you to... Uh... <clears throat> yes. Now, what I f just found interesting, too, though, is that uh, the music from the town still plays in the dungeon. Oh, you actually had music? I didn't have any music. Yeah, I, I had music playing in the dungeon. Okay. <laughs> now, of course, I know that uh, you're probably listening to something totally different than I am. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. L let's see. Because I am not hearing any music. Right. Like at all. And I just turned up my volumes all the way. Yeah. So mm. other people are. Because it's playing in the what? background. Oh, this might be related to uh audio source. Hold on, let me let me change something. Uh speakers. Sound settings. Yep. My eh, no idea. I can't hear shit. Interesting. Uh, that's slot access, town access. Are you removing all my access? I'm knocking you back down. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna steal everything, man. You're down to resident. You can check mail. Okay. And claim lots. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, look at that frog. That frog's bouncing. Uh, it, it, it is a hoppy frog. <laughs> Doing the same thing for you? He just... Yeah. R r okay. Oh, he sat down for a second. Uh, yeah. I think that's part of his idle emote. <laughs> And I, I think that's actually related to the fact that they don't know how to put things on a level. And so as the frog was climbing up the hill, the the logic was very twisted. I don't remember placing any frogs, though. Why do I have frogs? I don't know. Matter of fact, frogs aren't placeable, are they? I don't think so. I, I have no idea. Yeah, hold on. I don't own a town anymore. I don't give a shit about this stuff. Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Frogs are... Yeah, I guess I did place that. So, you gotta go find the toadstools. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is, is that the toadstool right... Nope, nope. That's a carrot. So, where, where'd you put some toadstools? I have no idea. It's got to be up there someplace because. Uh, I what's the range of these things? Yeah, they, they they shouldn't have a very long range whatsoever. I mean, the the carrots for the turkeys are it's not very long. So you've you've got toadstools somewhere, or someone summoned a frog and never killed it. Uh, there's got to be one here someplace. It's, the question is where. I. Mean, I do not see it. The question is where? Yeah. <laughs> Have you checked your deco palette? Well, that's not going to tell me where it is. I know. It's not down here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hiding in here. No, that's a cat. Yeah, that's From a, a distance, it kind of looked like a toad school. It's a toadstool. <laughs> yeah, don't know. I don't know. Got to be around there someplace. So. <clears throat> it's not. Did I see? Right, where so the hell the would I place it? He's over here. 
Well, no, he's right here, so yeah. he should be somewhere in. It should be somewhere in here. Yeah. It should be right in this area. Yeah. Um, there is no toadstool, man. Um, Talk about some shroud oh. logic. How's it going, uh, Maynard? You doing okay? Unless he's really traveled, which he shouldn't have. I got squirrels, I got turkeys, I can see all their markers. Yep. Oh well, no big deal. It's somewhere, man. Somewhere. But, yeah, now you got me curious. I started curiosity. Uh, let's see. Am I looking forward to Deco Palette? Toadstool. Yeah, animal <laughs> spawner with blue toadstool 17.2. Wherever that so it is. gives the coordinate. It yeah, gives it the does. coordinates for it. Okay. So type in slash lock. Okay. Yeah. Seventeen dot two eighty nine dot zero at a negative seventy. I'm assuming it's got to be down low. Down low. Okay, so that would be so negative seventeen. No, seventeen, not negative seventeen. Oh, it's at seventeen. Then, then, then what? Seventeen dot two, eighty nine dot zero. Like, yeah, but it wouldn't be anywhere outside this area. Well, you got to get to 17. That's two. It's nine. 14. That's 18, so here. So, 17, th then what's the next one? 89. 89. That's 70. 76. I mean, th this is where it's like 84. 84. Oh, right there in front of you. <laughs> Where? Right there in front of, right at the. Oh, right in front of. <laughs> Seriously? It's fucking small as shit. There yeah. it is. Okay. Yeah, zo zoomed out. It's like you're looking for a speck. Yeah, well, considering how big the carrots are, you know, you you would think that they yeah. would be that visible. That when, I mean, when you when you're standing right here, you can't even see the damn thing. Yeah, you have to be right yeah. up on that. Yeah, because it's of like, the lighting. So yeah, there it is. There's look, the toaster. I mean, it's like <laughs> holy shit. That little tiny I, thing. There it is. There it is. Awesome, finally, man. finally solved. <laughs> yeah. All right, mystery solved. Oh, we can head back yeah. to uh, the and, lot now. And and this is one where the coordinate grid system should be overlaid onto the map. So so last click M. Yeah. Bring up your map. We should be able to see where we are as far as the coordinates go. Yes. And this way, it actually facilitates people doing things and using the in-game map. 
Yeah, fun treasure hunt idea. Find the toadstool. Because, yeah, that thing's fucking small. Yeah, see, now, if I was really treasure hunting, I would take and put it, like, on this side of the, uh, the no, lot no, no. marker. Lads, <laughs> move, it, move it right over here into this grass that I'm standing on right here. I'll never find it. <laughs> but you'll never find it. But move it right in there. Okay, hold on. Let me pick this up. It would be funny if it flattened the grass. Oh, lock track. I wonder where the tool has gone. Uh, you didn't love it so. You looked at it like it's gone. I didn't do it. How are you? Did it go? There we go. Now it's really buried in the grass. I typed in lock track and uh, it didn't appear to do anything. Yeah. Now, can you see that toadstool in that patch of grass there? You can see a very slight color change yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, wait. On this side, you can actually see it. Yeah, let me see if I put it there. It's, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be hidden. You're, 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 I mean, that's pretty. I see pretty it. Hidden. I mean, you can still see it, but. Done in a tall, tall, tall grass. Yeah. Yeah, problem is the frog would give it away. Yep. But let's go ahead and put it back where I had it so that, uh, I have an idea where it is next time. Wait, lock track is, is there? Where? Top right? No. Top left? Oh, what are you talking about? yes. Sorry, sorry. It is there. Where? So if you do slash lock track, it, it shows up in your user interface above your name. But this is still stupid. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, but that doesn't help you much when you're doing it that way. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, that just gives you, you know, it'd be better if the grid was there so you can just go, okay, put my <clears throat> you know, marker down on the map and I have an idea where the hell I'm going, you know. Yeah, I mean, there, there's all kinds of stupid decisions there. I mean... doesn't work as well as it should yeah anyway but i mean it's like pot island metropolis it's like embedded in the map and put this in the actual interface somewhere else instead of the the debug information let's see <laughs> that that's not right either this well, is not a I metropolis. Mean, oh, so the, the, the template is actually wrong? Hell yeah. Metropolis. You got shroud mathed? Metropolis? This isn't a metropolis. I mean, unless somebody gave me a metropolis and I don't know about it. Yeah. And yeah, there's my frog doing his thing again. <laughs> and I, and I, 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 I haven't seen Superman flying anywhere around there. <laughs> you don't see people flying. But I recalled the the template is the metropolis, but um but that that is one where it shouldn't it should the template name should just be the pot island template one. Yes. Not metropolis because that's the POT size. The landmass itself is all the same. So there's no variation between a hamlet, a crossroads, a metropolis, a megapolis, a Gigaopolis, whatever the fuck yeah. they want. Gigaopolis. It's the zone itself is all exactly the same size. So rendering metropolis in this name means 
absolute nothing. And I just scratched my ear and it's bleeding. Not a for thing. Some reason. Not a thing. Yeah. But, um, uh, let's talk about some gothic pen sheeting real quick because this is a. That's not cool. I scratched my ear. Penis. Okay, we're headset talking about got stolen. What? Oh, what headset are we talking about? Your work headset? Okay, so the Gothic bench seating by Jackal. The bench has seating for three, but I was unable to sit in the middle seat. It has always forced me to the left or right, so. I tried roughly 40 times as compared to the altar, which is easy to sit in in any of the three positions along the bench. Attempt to sit in the middle seat. The following locations of these benches tagged by the, is temporary. The lot will likely be set up this way for approximately a month in preparation for an in-game wedding. And... This is as designed. No, it's not. The visual artwork may look like it's designed for three, but there are correctly only two spots set up. Seats need to be a certain width to accommodate multiple spots without overlapping people, especially as the male sitting emote is a bit spready. <laughs> so, so let's go look up the gothic bench in the uh, actually. Yeah. Where was the wedding held? Uh, we can go look at that real quick. Uh, Jade Valley, was it? Uh, um, so, it's the Gothic bench seating. Okay, Right, but we can go look at them where they were set up for the wedding. Was it Jade Valley? But we we can compare it with other things in the 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 not shop. If you don't, not if you don't have it. <clears throat> not if you can't try no. and sit on it. But Unless you can clearly see that this fucking thing is designed for three seating spots. Well, that's why we're gonna go out to Jade Valley. Hey, Twitch sent me a payment. Nice. Oh, I haven't gotten one of those in a while. Wedding. Da, 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 Where's da, da, the wedding? Um, da, 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 Not yet any of those. Uh, uh, uh. Don't know. I'm looking for the wedding post. Guess I have to do a search. Uh, wedding of Irish eyes in Mysteria. We got to go to Mysteria. Da, 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 da. And we're looking for what? Uh, there should be, it should have been a wedding. Ir Irish and Galorn forever after. Yeah, there we go. But seriously, how does one scratch their ear and cause it to bleed? Very carefully. Sharp yeah, pin your nails. You had a pimple on your ear and you didn't realize it. Uh, something, man. You really were trying to practice how to insert how to insert an earring. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was trying to practice how to insert an earring and miss. All right. So I'm thinking that these over here are the ones that we're talking about, right? The Gothic bench. Looks like a, a three seater. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for, for I, it, 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 it is definitely designed as a three seater. So they're saying that. The, so they're saying that they couldn't seat three. No, it cannot seat three. Yeah. 
Now, what is the these benches seat? There's one. Well, th these, if you actually look, are two, 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 two. But I sat in the middle. Yeah, so the I sat, I sat on the right. There. Hey, you can sit three on these. I, I sat in like... all three locations in this one. Yeah. Uh, so this, so um... the fact that the fact that she is calling this as designed, it's not as designed. It's designed for three fucking seats. I'll sit in the other seat. Let's see how spready you are and whether we have actual room for another the, carrier. No, no, no. So so Laz. Yeah. The the thing that is the same like width, right? Is this so? Oh. I want you, I want you to come sit on either side of me. Right. Yeah, you mean, you mean overlapping like that? Hey, Lomir, I... come on over. Come on over. Sit next to Jack. It's clearly three seats, and clearly, let's try and to go. An in-game item that is the same size can sit three. So, yes, try, this is try. a bug. It is not as designed. Try this bench. Yeah, you can only get two on that bench, one on either side. Yeah. That's, the, that's the one we're talking about. Hey, all right, you two, you two sit in, in, in two, two spots, and I'll try the other. You can't. There is no you other can't. one. There we, is we, no we, middle do seat. Do there, is no, there is no middle seat on this yeah. one. Try to sit in the middle. You but cannot there's, sit there's in the middle. Nothing, it will not. It will on. not give you the option. Yeah, there's nothing to click on. Okay, you don't even have an option. I see. That's what we're. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Although te technically, I would have to put these right next to each other, but that doesn't really look like the same size. But you know, it's not right either. Is the time because it is there, past there, that there, time. There, 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 now, now three are sitting in it. <laughs> there you go, Lomir. Lomir uh, just, Lomir just found the. Uh, yeah, the, the option slash sit slash sit. Yeah. But uh, Maynard's going to be getting a streamer bundle from me eventually, and yeah, clearly eight. three seats. Yes. A Steam key for the wonderful game. I am bread going to Night Rider. Come on, cat, move. All right. And that's a thirteen dollar game. I am. I am. I am bread. What? A, what a fun sounding game. Yeah. All right, closing that out. And Knight Rider also getting a streamer bundle for me. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's a, the, the yeast amount of fun game that I've ever heard about. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like, I am bread. You are bread. Your mission is to become toast. <laughs> what if your mission was to become part of a peanut butter and jelly I, sandwich? I, I think the next thing is we need to go find the watching paint dry game. Yes, um, eating, eating paint chips. That, that's as no, fun not, as... not eating paint chips. Uh, <laughs> that's as that's that's watching as, paint dry. That's probably as fun as the watching grass grow game. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And since somebody had this game yesterday, we're going to recycle it today. Uh, Lomir, we got a copy of Animal Rescuer. You want to rescue animals? No, I'm good. Okay, so then we're going to pick the next winner. And Super Drap Forever. Super Drap Forever. You're going to get a copy of Animal Rescuer on Steam, which I believe was uh, 19 bucks. Was it? Let's just see here real quick. <laughs> was that Super Drip Forever? Uh, it's 15 bucks. 15 bucks. <laughs> That's going out the super drop, and of course, we got to get out of here because it's way past our time. So, thank you all for joining us, thank you all for being here, and we will be back with more tomorrow on Fruck Awesome Friday. Till then, I'm Laz, I'm Jack, I'm Omir.
And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you bye all bye. tomorrow. Thank you, Jerk.